dirt cups. They're gonna look like little cemeteries in cups. You're gonna love them. And I'm starting by making some homemade chocolate pudding. So I added sugar, cornstarch, and salt into a little saucepan, very simple. And I'm gonna add some milk, three cups of whole milk. Anytime I make pudding from scratch, I always use whole milk because it helps it just be a little bit richer. It helps the texture. And then four egg yolks. Look how beautiful that is, by the way. I wish my cooking show had slow motion. Look. <gasps> mm. And then just whisk it. And basically, this is sort of a custard. It's sugar and eggs with some cornstarch, and the cornstarch helps that pudding texture. Okay. Now I need to just cook this slowly while it heats up and thickens. It's gonna take about five minutes. What was once a liquidy, wow. runny mixture has turned into pudding. And I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla. And then now it is vanilla pudding. It's as simple as that. But I'm going to turn it into chocolate pudding now. And all that's required there is just bittersweet chocolate cut into chunks. You can also add semi-sweet chocolate, any kind of chocolate you want. I like bittersweet because then you wind up with a pudding that isn't overly sweet. Sometimes if you use semi-sweet, it's a really sweet chocolate pudding. Okay, and then look at this, Alex. Look how quickly that chocolate starts to melt. <gasps> how much do you love chocolate pudding? I love chocolate pudding. And then to give it a little bit of silky richness, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. <laughs> I love to do that. And then just stir it until the butter is melted. I turned off the heat under the pudding. And I mean, this is such a versatile thing to make. Okay, so now it's time to fill the cups. And I just have some cups on a sheet pan because that'll make it easy to put it into the fridge. So I'm gonna try to pour and we'll see how we get. Ooh. We'll just see how dexterous and talented or not talented I am. So I cannot let this stay in the pan. Although if Lad Drummond was in the house, he would kind of take this pan and go be alone with it somewhere, <laughs> knowing his patterns. Okay, come around, Alex, and we'll go to the fridge. So I'm gonna chill these and we'll eat them later for our midnight snack. Yum. But as we tend to do these days, I've got some that are already chilled. You want the pudding to chill for at least a couple of hours just so it's totally, totally set. So we've got the chilled pudding cups and I've got a bowl of crushed chocolate cookies and I'm just gonna do one for now. So this is like the dirt mm -hmm. in the graveyard. And then I have these little store-bought cookies and this is really something you need to have around Halloween time, an edible marker. So you wanna get this, Alex? R.I.P. Rest in peace. <laughs> kind of a morbid dessert, isn't it? Yep. And then you just kinda rest the little tombstone there. You can add a few more crumbs. And then I have some little candy bones. Look at these. <laughs> and you yeah, can sort of have blood. Have the bones sticking up out of the ground. Ooh. And now this is kind of actually gross, but I have body part gummy candy. So like a foot can be sticking. <laughs> what is that? Brains. We have a blue brain. So we can put this over here. Anyway, more bones. And you can just have fun with it. You could add gummy worms if you want, whatever you have on hand. So give me just a few minutes. I'm going to finish off the rest of these. We got brains. We got feet. We got tombstones. We got Halloween dirt cups. Even though they're a little bit morbid, I think they're precious. <laughs>